Discord. Let's do, should we do log or exponential first? Let's do exponential first. I answered my own question. Roman numeral uno. Exponential. Exponential equations. No, we'll just do base manipulation. Exponential equations. All right, so here's what you have to remember. If I have an equation that has two exponential pieces to it, let's say 3 to the x equals 3 to the 5. That's what I said. Me too, Lily. Me too. X equals 5, right? Because the rule in what you're doing is if the bases are exactly the same, are the same, then, then the exponents are the same, right? All right, so when I have exponential pieces, what I want to try to do is I want to try to manipulate the base if I can, okay? So let's say um, scenario number one is I have two exponential pieces. Exponential. I'll say terms instead of pieces. Okay. Maybe I have four to the x equals one half to the x minus three. I feel like we did this. I feel like we did. Maybe not. Oh. See, you make me so mad I throw my pen on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Two exponential terms. We want to separate them. Remember, because I started singing, you got to get them separated. Oh. Yeah, I remember okay. you, you did sing that. Oh, yeah. Maybe not. Okay. No, it was radicals. Yeah. It was radicals. Okay, so we got to get them separated, and then we want to try to manipulate the base. <laughs> manipulate the base. Now, here's the key. It has to keep the same value. If I change the base of 4, then at the end of the day, whatever I change it to, it's still got to have a value of 4. I can't make it not 4. So I could do like 2 squared or something like that, but it's still got to be 4. Or I could change one half to something. Change them both to two. You could. You could change them both to a base of two. Four is the same thing as what? Two squared. The x is still there. Do we agree? And then one half is the same thing as what? You you did the two so that you could have the same base. So, one. negative 1. And this is still x minus 3. Uh, does that make sense so far? Mm -hmm. Is 2 to the negative 1 still a half? Yeah. Is 2 to the second still 4? Yeah. Yes. So, at this point, I can set the exponents equal. Equal. And do not let me forget this last step, Joseph. To solve. So I have 2x equals, this negative 1 is going to both of these. That board really needs to be clean. That looks nasty. Does it look nasty from y'all's view? When I'm looking at the side here. The board's just dirty. <laughs> All right, so when I do this, that negative 1 has to be distributed to both of those because both of those are part of the exponent. So I take every bit of it on both sides. Yeah. Where's my what? I dropped the bases and just kept the exponents. I set the exponents equal because once you get the bases the same, you can just set the exponents equal. The tricky part is getting the exponents the same. I mean, the base is the same. Right. Just like that very first one that I showed you. Go back. Go back. When the bases are the same, you can set the exponents equal. Same, yeah. Same thing with this. Once we manipulated the bases to be the same, we set the exponents equal and then solve from there. So somebody said you add x and you do. 3x equals 3, so x equals 1. That is correct.
Does that make sense? Let's do another. Okay. All right, so I can't solve it like it is. There's two exponential pieces, two terms that have exponents on them, so they're on either side. That's good. Can I possibly manipulate the bases? Yes. These are both powers of what? This is an easy one. Three. Nine is the same thing as what? 27 is the same thing as what? Yes. All of these time you'll be able to get the bases the same right now. So Maybe you did something wrong. So it's not a no. <laughs> it's not a no, no, no. Uh-uh, no. For this chapter, for this lesson, you'll be able to, if there's two terms, you'll be able to manipulate. Before the test? Yes. All right, set the exponents equal. So... 2 times 2x equals 3 times x minus 1. Wait, so you have to use the squared? Yep, yep, you got to use them both. x is negative 3 when you subtract that 3x from both sides. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I got that. I have a question right here. I have to go right down there. Watch what you should do. <laughs> oh, there are four scenarios all together. There's two main, there's exponential logarithmic, and then there's two scenarios under each one of those. So that was one. Let's do one more of these. Let's do one more of these because this is where, this is the area that most will struggle. Um, let's do... Let's do 81 to the 3 minus x equals 1 third... 5x minus 6. Sure, try this one. See what happens. All right, so what base did you use? 3 to the, that's right. 3 to the 4 and 3 to the negative 1. Oh, I got that. I just kept, I put 1 3 to the negative 1. Do I have Yeah, write it. Yes? Yes. Why do I have to watch this? That's just so... <laughs> I know, we're wasting it. It's one line, y'all. I know, but then That's I just wasting a space. My goodness. Okay, I'll just keep doing it. Right. Well, because here's the thing. If you do it wrong, I don't have any way to give you any part credit because I can't see your thought process. Did you distribute it also to the X? Mm -hmm. Oh, you're talking about do you have to share from this step to this step? Yeah. You just went here, you distributed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's fine. 12 plus x equals 6. x is negative 6. Let's move on. Bless you. To part B. Part B of, of Roman numeral 1, which is? One exponential term. Y'all are going to love this. This is easy. You're going to isolate. If it's only one. So 9 to the x equals 35. Maybe it was 9 to the x minus 35 equals 0. Okay. Just make sure the exponential term is by itself on one side. And how would you solve that for x? Somebody say it. Please, somebody say it. Break it down. Log. That. Log. What you gonna do with logs? Log that beast. Log that beast. How do you, how do you log that beast? Oh, so nine is your nine. X is your equal thirty-five to thirty-five. Nine is That's right. You're gonna change the form. Log base 9 of 35 equals x. <laughs> then we're going to evaluate what's there, solve if we need to. In this case, how do I find the log base 9 of 35? 
Is 9 to any power 35? No. So how do I find it? Oh, I forgot to answer your homework questions. It's fine. It's fine. Log 35 divided by log 9. That change of base. 1.618. Bless you. Approximately, because I, I rounded it. Now we're going to look at logarithmic equations. <laughs> Let's look at them. There's going to be an A, B, and C here, I think. Oh. Hi, YouTube. Ah. All right. Scenario A. One log term. The steps for this are exactly the same as the exponential. Yep. So I have log base 4 of 5x minus 1 equals 3, and I need to solve that. So you want to make sure that the log term is isolated. Am I going too fast? I'll stop. Just like slow down. Then you should be able to easily change forms. Log base 4 of 5x minus 1 equals 3 looks like what in the other form? Close. 4 to the third. This looks like something you might be able to solve. Do you agree? It is. It's a basic linear equation. Really easy. Add 1 and divide by 5. Wait, so you don't have to do the base of the same one? You don't have to do the base No. This has no manipulation in it. <laughs> All right. Case 2, case B, is two logs. They have the same base. And there is absolutely nothing else, just two logs. No plus one, no plus five, no anything else, just two logs with the same base. For example, log base five of 4x minus seven equals log base five of x plus five. There's not, two logs. What's in parentheses after the log still goes with the log. Oh. What I mean is there's not this. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Can I guess what we do? Sure. Do you set the 4x minus 7 I x plus combine. 5 together and then you just solve for that? Yes. It is that easy. <laughs> Okay. Remember, logs are exponents, and when the bases are the same, we just set the exponents equal, right? The bases are the same. Make sure the logs, there's one on either side of the equal sign. That's right. Yeah, but my son will be set up that way. I was saying that, he said, I thought you said nothing else. I said, by nothing else, I mean there's not a plus one here. All right, so, once they're separated, okay. <laughs> Set the A values equal. What I mean by A is, remember, we talk all the time about log base B of A. Okay, those A values, whatever's in parentheses. Set those equal. <laughs> and then do what, Joseph? Solve. Good job. Solve. Solve. Don't forget that last step of solve. I'm not taunting you. I'm just making sure you know to solve. Add seven. Add 
add it and subtract one. So I have x plus 12 minus the one would give me 3x equals 12, so x equals 4. Wait, is that it? That's it. No, that's it. x equals 4. This is the hardest of the three scenarios with logarithm. So this is two logs or more, same base, and something else. Two or more logs, same base, everybody's same base. This only works when the base is the same. And yes, for your situations here, I will make sure the bases are the same. But I... I, I don't want to give it to you without saying so in case you get further in math and you go, but Miss McGee said anytime we have more than two logs, because I'm sure y'all will rewind back to this day on March the 20th and go, I remember learning that two logs, this is what I do. Okay. Yes, we're going. All right. Two or more logs, same base, something else. So it looks something like, are y'all ready for this? This is so much fun. Log 5x plus log x minus 1 equals 2. Do those have the same base? Yes. What is the base? 10. Good job. Okay. Yes. It's a subscript. It's written at the same level. Like it's an exponent, yeah. Oh. No, because it could it could have an exponent up here, but it does not. So it's, this five x is even with the log. The ten is a subscript. Just the the a part, yeah. When there's no base indicated, it's a base of ten. It's a common log. I tried to go ahead and match that. All right, don't go ahead because you don't know what to do yet. All right, shh. I am going to go ahead and say, I put a 10 because they were asking about what the base was. There's something else, too. Okay. Make sure, shh, 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 guys, make sure that the logs are together on the same side. Okay, that's going to be your first step. Most of the time they will be, but just in case. Can anybody take a shot in the dark? Get rid of your log. At what? How? Well, first you need to combine the five. How? Uh -oh. What are you combining? How? Well, you can't. Six, 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 six. You can't add them together like that, though. Mm -hmm. what mm -hmm. oh, no. But you're you're kind of on the right track. Mm -hmm. Why? Why, Wills? It's condensing. It distract. Y'all are both right. We condense. We condense. We condense to one log. Oh, just wait. I think we may have a quadratic on our hands. Oh, no. yeah. <laughs> You're lying. Okay. Log. <laughs> 5x times x minus 1 equals 2. All this now goes with the log. All right. Let's put it together first. Log. 5x squared minus 5x. When you're adding, it means multiply. When we're condensing. Now we're going to change forms. What do you get? How do you change forms? Oh, so I said 100. 100 because it's 10 to the second. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, 10 to the second equals. Oh. Remember, log base B of A equals X. Then that means B to the X equals A. I'm secretly 
hoping it's a quadratic formula, just saying. I literally said quadratic formula earlier, like, to the because I don't think we're going to have to make a Well, but what happens, as I solve, because my last step, of course, is to, Joseph, solve. Um, when I make this equal zero, because it is a quadratic, only the x is squared, not the 5. I could divide everybody by 5, right? So I get 0 equals x squared minus x minus 20. Does anything multiply to negative 20 but add to negative 1? Y'all sure? Oh, wait. Oh, 4. 4 and 5. Wait, wait, wait. 19 and 1. Wait, wait, wait. Can you write that on the side? Like, how do you Right, well, on the side. Negative 20. Negative 5 and 4. Because the leading coefficient is 1, I don't have to group it. I don't have to go through all the steps of grouping. Remember, although you could, you could say x squared minus 5x plus 4x minus 20, and then... You can just do x minus 5 x plus 4. No, because essentially what you did was you divided this side by 5, and then you divided this side by 5. And 0 divided by 5 is 0. There are two answers to this one. It would be... Now, theoretically, you should be checking to see which one is extraneous and which one is true. But you said we don't have to do that. I refuse. Wait, what do we do with that? That's it. That's scary. Wait, what's number? This is number 43. Did you say I'm weird? Yeah. I know. <laughs> I've always been weird. I embrace it. <laughs> yes. Yes. Are these all all of the ones, most all of the ones that are two, <coughs> if there's an X in both of them, then they're going to be quadratic. Oh. But, I mean, some of them will start out where there's not an X in both. All right, so let's condense the left. Yes, you do. Good job. Oh. X squared, let's see, minus 3 minus 9 would be minus 12. Yep. X minus 9 times X minus 3. Okay. <laughs> I foiled it and combined the like terms in my head. That's where the negative 12 came from. Oh, sir. If you need to see the foil off on the side. All right. Let's change the form. Three to the second power equals... Well, at least take a picture of it so you can add it in the bottom of your homework. Where would I lose you? Changing forms? No, right there. Okay, so make it equal zero since it's a quadratic. Same thing, multiply to 18, but add to 12. No, Yay! No. 
<laughs> Everybody is like saying their little song in their head as they write this song or saying it out loud. Opposite B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Um, I mean, you could. I would, I mean, so what I would do at this point is I would see if you could break 72 down. Is there a perfect square? What goes in? 36 and 2? So that would give you 6 and 2. I did 144 minus 4 times 18. Simplify it down, but yeah. All right, where? Where did I skip? 